Hello and welcome to the Fort Report. I'm Alicia Woodruff. And I'm Chris Conlon. With the wonderful spring weather comes the arduous task of spring cleaning, but be careful what you put on the curb. Trashing an old toaster is easy. Just bag it and put it in your brown garbage cart. Getting rid of an old refrigerator is a little harder. Refrigerators, air conditioners, lawn equipment, even computers contain chemicals that can pollute our air and water. Before you put an appliance on the curb for bulky trash pickup, call the city to learn the rules. Some appliances must be drained, others can't be put on the curb at all, but can be taken to a city drop-off station. The number is easy to remember, 817-392-EASY. For many citizens of Fort Worth, the political process is not a spectator sport. Those who like their voices heard during council meetings need to be aware of some of the new rules. You used to speak occasionally, didn't you? Just the one time. Well, I've heard the Buzz Lightyear costume made a lasting impression. It's not a good choice. Once the city council meeting agenda is posted to the city's website on Fridays, usually by 8.30 a.m., residents may register to speak to the city council by accessing the speaker's form on the city's website or calling the city secretary's office at 817-392-6164. These changes are effective on May 1st. For the complete list of the new rules, visit the city's website. And so, in making a good speech, Fred has raised himself in the estimation of his friends and neighbors. And as everyone knows, public speaking can be a terrifying experience. So if you're nervous about it, just picture the audience in their underwear. No, that's not a good idea. The City of Fort Worth has developed a safe passing ordinance that creates a minimum passing distance for vulnerable roadway users. Examples of these users include pedestrians, cyclists, physically disabled persons, firefighters and peace officers, and persons on horseback. I suppose you know everything about traffic regulation. Well... This ordinance establishes a safe passing distance and prohibits harassment of vulnerable road users. It also protects motor vehicle operators if the VRU was acting in violation of traffic laws. VRU? Yep. I just made up the acronym for the city. You're welcome. I guess you're waiting for me to ask. I'm just glad the city stepped up and is looking out to protect me when I'm on my bike. Ow! Oh, my mole!